truth that sets us free. Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. John chapter 14 and verse 6 Jesus not only claimed he was the way to the Father, but he also affirmed that he was also the truth. In John chapter 8 and verse 32, when Jesus said to the Jews, And you shall know the truth, and the truth will make you free, they were perplexed. As the descendants of Abraham, they believed that they had never been in bondage to anyone. However, what Jesus was talking about was a bondage to sin that no one but he alone could liberate one from. He went on to explain to them in John chapter 8 and verse 36, If the Son sets you free, you are truly free. The point Jesus was making was that he is indeed the embodiment of truth that can truly set one free. One of the greatest struggles for most of us is to be a truthful people. The situations and the pressures to conform and compromise the truth are so many that many prefer to take the easy way out, to fit in rather than stand up. When the Bible talks about truth, there are so many areas where we are expected to put this into practice. Here are a few. Speaking the truth to one another. Speaking the truth in love. Handling God's word truthfully. Worshipping God in truth. Being truthful in handling money and resources entrusted to us. Being truthful in all our relationships. And most importantly, to think only on those things that are true. If we allow Jesus, who is the truth, to reign in us, truth will permeate every single area of our lives and truthfulness will become our lifestyle. Some of us may not tell lies, but we often hide and misrepresent the truth and the result is deceit, which the Lord detests. The good news is that we have the Holy Spirit with us, who is the Spirit of Truth, who is there to help and guide us to be a people of integrity. Let the prayer of David be our prayer. Teach me to live according to your truth, for you are my God who saves me. Psalm chapter 25 and verse 5 If you were blessed by this devotion, kindly share it with others.